Hi guys, what is going on and welcome back to another video on Conqueror's Blade. So today we're going to be having a little bit of a revisit on the Kriegsrat Fusiliers. So I actually did a video on these guys it's quite a while ago now, probably six months? I don't know, it all sort of merges into one in my mind. Um, but I never really focused on them all that much. I kind of went through them on the way passing to the Tercios. So they were kind of just a unit that... I did, and it was sort of, yeah, yeah, let's just get them done, get the video out, move on. I wanted to get my tercios, and I wanted to start levelling my tercios, which I did. Got my tercios to level 30 in the end. That was a hell of a grind. But um, I kind of feel like I wanted to come back and actually have a proper look at these guys. Mostly because I ended up dragging them out again after my javelin sergeant vid. I thought, oh, the javelin sergeants were very effective on that Constantinople map. I wonder what the Kriegs rat would be like. And as it turns out, they actually really suit the map quite well. And with the supply point layout, it's actually uh, quite a nice situation to use them in. So I thought, oh, this is kind of interesting. And I didn't have them really that highly leveled, um, although it doesn't really matter. We'll have a look at the vet veterancy line in a minute. And so I sort of ended up getting into them a little bit. And then I thought, well, since I'm kind of enjoying playing them and half of the thing about my videos is really just sort of tracking what I'm enjoying playing as much as trying to particularly do helpful guides it's as much as just charting my progress through the game so yeah i thought we'd have a revisit now veterancy line wise there's really only one option here and it's quite a short one which is probably why i hadn't leveled them very much last time around so you've got to go down the top basically you're getting that 30 percent accuracy uh, damage increase that rate of fire is quite nice another 30 percent accuracy so you're getting 60 percent accuracy increase and then the final point gives you that aiming speed increase. So that means they sort of snapshot quite a lot quicker. You know, if an enemy hero runs around the corner, rather than sort of dithering around for five seconds, they sort of quickly aim, shoot, and because they're actually quite accurate, they actually hit, which is really quite nice. Um, in terms of stat-wise, you know, you also get this extra hit points down the bottom. So this is quite an important node to get. And then beyond this, you're really not getting anything all that useful. This one's kind of worthwhile getting. I will get this increased damage dealt in siege battles assuming it's going to relate to both ranged and melee damage although this really is the melee line along the bottom so it could just be five percent extra melee damage in siege battles but uh, i guess we'll never really know um the rest of the bottom line stuff is really just you know their piercing damage and stuff like that which really isn't all that useful although i must admit that the actual stab is quite damaging you know they will actually stab for like 2000 so they, they did give a good hit but their attack speed is so ridiculously slow and um, with only 6,000 hit points and not a lot of piercing, they, they do die pretty quickly when they get into melee. So it's really not a lot of benefit to this bottom line other than just to progress along it. And I suppose you get a small amount of extra hit points for each veterancy level you go up. So it's worthwhile doing, but, you know, I'm not going to go out of my way to finish it off. Um, other than that, the, the main drawback of Krieg's Rats, and it, it always has been and always will be, is the limited ammo. It's the main problem. They only get 450 ammo. They fire quite fast. And that ammo capacity goes down remarkably quickly. Always has been the biggest drawback, and it's a lot of reason that a lot of people don't like this unit. And it's the main upgrade Tercios get over this unit is the fact that their ammo is a lot better, and they're also more tanky, which is the main benefit. In terms of accuracy and damage, I would almost go so far as to say that Kriegs actually are more accurate and have a higher rate of damage per second that they certainly feel like an extremely damaging unit for their tier. And yeah, in that capacity, I think they, they, they meet or actually exceed the damage that Tercios can do. So that makes them quite a cool unit. Just got to watch out for that ammo. No real solution to it other than, I guess I'm trying to always think of fighting from supply point to supply point. That's always how I'm trying to go on on uh, each map. And actually, that's kind of what I'm doing on the battle or see in a minute. If you just buy fighting from supply point to supply point, you can always try and keep yourself topped up. And that's really the only way you can kind of deal with the ammo situation. So anyway, let's hop into a battle with them. Or we can quickly check kit cost while we're here. 
Uh, actually quite high for a heroic hero unit, 4-3, that's quite a lot. So they are a little bit expensive on the kit front. But anyway, let's hop into a battle and see how we've been getting on. So, a bit of an exciting start of this one with a hero kill in the first two seconds. I think that might be a, uh, a new first for me. But we're continuing up the siege tower as normal. Um, we've basically done nothing so far in this match and I'm just pushing on to the A point. I always seem to push on Sun City, God, that's a bit of a tongue twister, on this side of the A point. It seems to be a really nice spot for pushing because the enemy can't get round your back very easily. A little bit knocked over by this, this pole axe. And then, I don't even know what we're killing but whatever it is it's dying quite quickly and we just finish off the remnants of that black dragon archers. So not a little bad start, basically nothing defending the A point, I was really quite surprised. Um, so we just push straight onto it, get the cap, and really strange to start. So I'm thinking, okay, where am I going to go to next with this unit? Obviously the logical place is to go to the B point, but the question is do we stop by the supply point? I could go down this set of stairs here, um, but I think I decided it's better off to push on and try and at least get to the supply point from the other set of stairs. So that's kind of what I'm thinking and where I'm heading to. I've got quite a few enemies set up at the top of this siege tower by the look of it. I wanted to see if they could reasonably shoot from here, but they weren't auto-locking on. I could have manually aimed them, but in the end I just decided, well, let's just get up close and personal and just blast them at point blank range. Certainly can't miss them. And that's pretty much what we do. The unit gets up, starts shooting straight away. Real mix of stuff for shooting into stuff here. Some reasonably high tier stuff. Most of it dies pretty quickly. But we had a fair, you know, a lot of friendly troops there throwing in support, so not all that much we could do. So, Keshig's right down at the bottom. These I'm trying to aim. We're having a few trouble with these guys on the stairs. Requires a little bit of meta manual aiming, but we soon start to cut through them then. Continue pushing down, and then we get a second unit of Keshig's. You know, I really want to kill as many of these guys as we can. Really, really decent cavalry unit, very meta at the moment. And so killing these early on in the siege, really useful. And these Kriegs just do really high hits of damage against them. You know, you're hitting for like 3k per shot. And when you've got 18 dudes shooting into them, you do quite a lot of damage quite quickly. We then got these archers sort of plumbing plum down, and look how quickly they die. This is what I mean about the accuracy in terms of the range. You know, if you're shooting at them with uh, maybe Imperials, yes, you'll get the higher rate of fire, but the accuracy is a lot less. So you're kind of getting that trade off. I found them to be really sort of accurate at those sort of mid ranges, they seem to do really well. And as I was kind of saying earlier about fighting supply point to supply point, I've now fought my way to my first supply point. So I'm now thinking it's C, and then it's on to the supply point, you know, round the back of the base point. Uh, I'm sure you know which one I mean. So I'm sort of thinking about where's my next supply point, and that's really how you have to fight with these guys. It kind of felt a little bit like the enemy didn't really want to defend any points in this castle at this point, because A and B have fallen pretty much without a fight, and we're just pretty much on and capping C already. So I'm just trying to push up as quick as I can, because I want to be getting some kills and some damage. I just decided to throw a treb down at the back. Um, there's obviously going to be a lot of stuff coming down that route, so I'm just kind of hitting and hoping really. And now uh, eventually we get fairly lucky as you'll see in a minute. But I'm dragging the unit in and you see they're just pummeling in the shots at the moment. That's now the treb landing, getting the kills. But you'll see the unit is just continuously firing into this clump of what, some javelin sergeants, some heroic era units, as well as some condotary, and just racking up kills really quite quickly uh, with everything that it kills, because they just cut things, cut through things so effectively. And because they've got that really decent rate of fire, that quite accurate and pretty high damage, it makes it pretty brutally effective. <laughs> Look, that was one volley into the back of those condos, and it killed like six of them. They're quite an effective unit. Just the ammo is the issue. You know, small bit of fighting there, and we're down to, what, maybe a third of our ammo capacity? So, anyway, fighting my way to the next supply point. That's what I'm thinking, um, and kind of where I'm heading now. So, dragging the unit down with me. Uh, kind of thinking about pushing around down to the right. Just making sure there's nothing obvious kind of blocking the way. But we've got so much support coming with us. I don't think it's really going to be a problem. So I'm just trying to keep keep moving fairly quickly. These units do seem to have a, a pretty decent movement speed. They don't feel excessively slow or anything. So it's, it's not painful to use. So we just get over, get on the supply point, And get myself healed back up. Well, get myself ammoed back up more than healed back up. One unit took a little bit of damage. So then I'm thinking, where to next? So we're starting to pressure their point already, and actually it looked like there was a fair bit of stuff on the enemy base point from the off. I thought there was a reasonable chance we were just going to cap this straight away. So I'm trying to push down hard, and looking for my opportunity of where I want to set my unit up to throw fire in on this base point. In the end, I decided to go a little bit further on to try and shoot through this gap between the uh, two wooden shields. And it's not a little bad spot here, because we can just shoot straight through this gap and everything just starts to get obliterated. You know, we get like five kills of volley. 
Plus we're doing lots of any damage to enemy heroes and stuff like that. And of course we are actually shooting a, a tier 4 Serex here, a, a heroic hero unit. So we're not as if we're fighting low tier stuff. Get driven back a little bit by this spear. Do quite a bit of damage to me. Um, it doesn't really matter because I'm, as long as I survive, I can pull back and heal while our unit just sits there blasting away at everything in the centre. Unfortunately, we do kind of get a bit overwhelmed by the enemy. I think we perhaps advanced a little bit too quickly. But still, we did quite a few uh, kills on the enemy units, killed quite a lot of stuff on the point. I'm just sort of loitering around a little bit, getting some shots on these enemy heroes. But there wasn't really a great deal for us to kill. And so kind of in the lull of the, in the, lull of the fighting, I thought, oh, this is probably a good time to get back and restock the ammo. Because we're down to just below half already. And it might be a good time to grab some ammo. And then by the time we've got ammo and come back, it's probably hopefully going to be sort of a secondary push starting to build up and we can have another go. I was thinking about maybe coming this way around this time. Maybe seeing if I could shoot round. But, I don't know, I think I kind of got on quite well in, in, in that spot on the edge of the shields last time. So thought, ah, well, let's, let's probably head back down there. We probably can't go too wrong from that spot. And it's probably a bit easier to avoid enemy artillery from that spot as well. So we're pushing back down. Uh, not really too much here in terms of the team at the moment. A little bit of stuff starting to build on the other side. You can see the unit of spear sergeants uh, look on the other side of the... We're basically dead in front of us. So that's kind of a good sign. I thought there's sort of a bit of a push starting to build up. I kind of didn't want them to shoot at this point. They're just sort of blasting at heroes that are pretty much in cover, so they're not really hitting anything. And given they've got pretty limited ammo, I kind of didn't want them to do that. I could have pressed 5 and put them into the melee mode. The only problem is that he's on a cooldown, and I was a little bit nervous about what that might do. Get caught by that uh, dual blade. Thankfully, a little bit of allied support comes in and knocks him down. Nearly get killed, but <laughs> managed to get away with my life. And as things start to push forwards, I'm pushing the unit up hard now. As the team goes, I'm trying to go with them. Trying to buy that close range damaging support and we're just funneling damage in down that corridor and uh, just basically shooting everything that's coming out so making it much easier for our shield wall to hold that line and kind of keep them off and it does its job pretty well the rest of the team all materializes at once and basically we just swamp this point knock down a few enemy heroes and continually volleying falling down that down that alleyway but all in all pretty much game set and match and an easy cap but yeah kriegs really quite a nice unit quite an easy 130 kills i don't know how many the kriegs got uh, 96 of those. They are a very damaging unit and quite a lot of fun to play. The ammo is a real pain, but the damage, accuracy and rate of fire does kind of make it worth it. Certainly a unit I'd recommend people check out. Anyway, that's all I've got time for. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel for lots more Conqueror's Blade content. Thanks guys, and I shall see you all on the next video.